till you welcome to my youtube channel it's great to have you here once again i'm samuel also and please if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on the post notification bell to get a alert whenever i upload awesome and great content please don't forget to like comment and share so in this particular video we are going to design a very beautiful fantastic and awesome birthday flyer so without wasting my time let me open my prism lab up open your prism lab up so this is the particular design we are going to design so it, as you can see it's very nice beautiful birthday flyer right so it's going to be a lot of value is going to pour out and we are going to learn a lot in this particular video so i will advise you to stay tuned then relax and watch the tutorial video to the end and you are going to learn a lot especially when it comes to blending of the background as you can see the background is blend together everything is on point yeah i am going to show you everything so without wasting my time let me start afresh with a flesh page with a fresh page let me start afresh so i'll tap here to get rid of the design so this is a new working space let me play this test right as i said in order of the my tutorials whenever you want to start your design your background matters more that's the first thing that has to come to your mind and when you want to upload background from your gallery you have to tap here this three this is the fourth tool here down there tap on it like this then you see many things here so we are going to upload from gallery i have a background from my gallery so i'll tap on the background this is the background and you have to crop it i'm cropping it with the one by one size that the square size right something like this then i will then i will tap on the check mark here to proceed right so this is the background but then i want to change the colors the hue and the saturation the contrast of this background change the whole destiny of the background so as i told you earlier on if you want to change this the saturation the contrast of every background you have to tap on this last tool here right this one here to so tap on it so when you come here you can use the contrast you can use the contrast the hue the saturation and the brightness to get the effect the actual effect you want right so i'm going to tap on the contrast to increase the contrast of this particular background so i'm going to increase the contrast to 23 right so when designing your background matters most is the important one of the important part of your design with the if you get a right background for your design your design is going to be very beautiful so you have to take your time when working on the background be creative and know exactly what you are doing right so i'll bring the contrast to 23 then i'll increase the hue to the hue i'm going to change the hue the colors of the background so the hue to 103 right 103 changing the destiny everything of the so 103 like this right so as, as you can see i've changed the colors of the background right so go back to saturation increase the saturation to 11. so 11 i have changed everything of the background it's a new background altogether so now i'll tap on the check mark we have not done with the blending of the background we are yet to start with it the blending of the background so i'll go to my images i'll go to my images to get the pictures i'm going to use so i'll come to import this image is very in high quality image it's a high quality image i have worked on it so as you can see it's in a high quality image and let me tap on the check mark before right so as you can see here um let me increase the size there was a from the image you could see that there's a color effect on this outline on the left side of the cheek right this side there was a purple color effect on it that means on when the person was taking the picture there was a some sort of color of this sort here there was a light reflection that 
was that reflected on the person's face so we have to make it in such a way that it will look rare so we have to bring some sort of colors like this here on this left side of the image of this the left side of the design to make it look like um it is actual background of the image so we are going to work on that i know you have gotten it so let's increase the size a bit like this position it here increase it a bit again and then position it here let's position it in the middle in the center like this right so we have something like this let me increase it we have something like this okay so now let's start with let me lock it so that it's not distract us so let me start with the color that will reflect on the image so i will come to my shapes then when you come to shapes start on this arrow choose circle then reduce the opacity to zero right and then come to strokes and increase the strokes to whatever it will end wherever it will end that's 34 then come to blur radius blur radius and increase the blur radius to the end too then you get something like this so so get something like this i have okay okay i have to choose black right so you have something like this so you have something like this as you can see right this is the one this is the element we are going to use to blend the background to get some effects then all those stuff so, right so you can change the color after this change the color but then you can you can change the color to whatever color you want but then we have to get the color of the reflection on the cheek the, that color yeah the actual color so let's come back to, let's select it and come back to color we are going to tap here the plus sign here then pick let's pick the color from the cheek so that you get the actual color let's pick the color from the cheek come to color picker and come to the image right so pick put the color you have the color here so that's the color you can place it here too so we have the color tap on the check mark you can increase it a bit right so we have the color here so with this color once we place it you could see that that's the color that's reflected on the person's cheek the person's face so that's it you have to be creative when designing so we place the color here place it here so that it makes it look like this is the reflection so we place one here top here on the check mark copy let's copy it again place it here another one here somewhere like this so okay so we copy it again and place it here right place it here let's copy it again and place one here all right so the one that we have placed here let's change the color to red let's change the color to red let's change the color to red right but then we want the red of the attire or the of the dress the person is wearing so let's come and pick the color from the attire pick it from place it at the dress color then bring it up on ok right so we have the color like this let's place it here let's place it here and then let's bring it here so that okay so let's copy it that color again let's copy it and reduce the size place it somewhere here we are blending the background as you can see that's how we do it so take your time all right so we have something like this all right it's not bad i'll come to my import i'll come to my import and bring this particular light image here then i'll place it here i'll place it to back let's place it to back of here right to back of here let's come to opacity and see let's come to opacity 
it gives the opacity of it a bit to 56 it's not bad so let's copy that image again no let's copy it and then place it here let's so get it to back of it okay okay let's reduce the opacity a bit guys that's it so that's it let's lock it then so that's it we have this not bad so now let's bring some image from my gallery a flower image okay so take this time if you have not subscribed to the channel please kindly subscribe then get alerts whenever i upload or some content don't miss any of my contents because we are learning a lot here right so let's bring it here this flower image let's bring it at where the red color is something like this right something like this right so now let's copy this same image then bring it here bring it here let's copy this test okay let's copy this effect okay let's copy it the red one then place one here one here somewhere here okay let's place one somewhere here okay so let's bring this one okay i'm coming i'm coming guys i want okay but then let's do it like that bring bring this one here this color here so guys we've done with the blending of the image to the background and those styles so as you can see it's very nice beautiful like this yeah so that's how we do it we do brand blending of the background the images right so let's go to our font let's write something to come to test let's write happy birthday let's write happy let's first write the happy bring it here let's bring it here change the font of it change the font of it i have the font here this font where is it so i have this font and then it ends that's particular font that's the font i'm using so i'll tap on ok then i have the font here reduce the font size to uh, where is the size come to size reduce the size to 67 is not bad so position it here somewhere here right so position it in the center all right so let's position it here in the center here right then let's copy the same test let's copy and edit it now let's write the birthday let's write the birthday like this and position it here let's increase the size of the birthday a bit to 71 it's not bad so let's position it in the center like this and let's bring it down a bit and change the color of it let's change the color to this yellow here yeah this yellow here so we are 80 percent done with this particular design so let's write come to test 
and let's write something write the person's name miss jean so guys that's how we do it no you guys are getting value from this particular tutorial so let's come to font and let me use this stylish font the autograph if you have the font you can use it autograph then 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 <laughs> so let's position it here position it in the center like this and move it to the top a bit guys we are almost done let's write um this um let's write the dates but then let's bring these shapes here choose circle position it here then let's come to opacity reduce the opacity of the circle to 50 it's not bad or reduce the opacity of the circle to 50 bring it here this is something that's trending you know this kind of this form of writing the date of the person of the birthday is trending so as a designer you have to do what's trending so let's copy it copy it and come to edit increase the opacity of it now and place it here place it here make sure it is in the middle of the of the other circle let's change this color of it all right you have this red color here it's not bad so let's lock it so that's not the first as Okay. Now let's write the date of the birthday. It is 18 April. Uh, it's like this. Position it carefully well in the circle. So let's come to font. Use this Montserrat medium. We are almost done. We are almost done, guys. So let's reduce the capacity the spacing the line spacing of it line let's position it here guys we are almost done let's write the last test that's make god richly bless you the god Bless you. Something like this. Choose this Montserrat font. Montserrat medium font. Let me choose it again. Reduce the size. Place it here. Come to spacing. Come to spacing. Come to where spacing. Come to lines reflected spacing rather okay so something like this place it here position it here and then reduce the opacity of it a bit mm. okay guys so we are almost done we are done that's how we do with this beautiful birthday flyer is this kind of flies is trending nowadays so you are blessed to get this tutorial i know you have learned a lot from this from the blending of the background and the whole lot from this particular tutorial video if you find this video helpful please kindly subscribe to this channel turn on the post notification bell like comment and share let's save our work to image choose ultra See you guys.